Sabi, Pilipinas, as they say, fashion is an instant language. At makakasama natin ngayong gabi ay tatlo sa pinakamagagaling at pinakahinahangaang kong fashion designers sa bansa. They translate the language of fashion for the world to understand at ibinabandera nila sa buong mundo ang husay nila bilang mga Pilipino. Ang una nating makakasama ngayong gabi already had his Paris Fashion Week show and one of the most sought-after local fashion designers of this generation. At kung sino siya, panuorin niyo pong lahat. From car racing to fashion designing, sinong mag-aakala na bago ang karangalang ibinibigay niya sa mga Pinoy sa larangan ng fashion, una na niya tayong pinahanga sa pagiging professional race car driver na lumalaban sa Europe, America at Canada. Ipinanganak sa Amerikanong ama at inang Filipina, bunso si Mark sa tatlong nakakatandang kapatid na babae. Ngayon ay meron na rin siyang ready-to-wear clothing store, ang Mark Baumgartner Studios. Maliban sa mga damit, Mark also expanded his portfolio by offering jewelry, footwear, and leather goods. Kaya naman let us all together discover Mark Baumgartner and get inspired. We have with us tonight the one and only Mark Bumgarner. Hi, Mark! Hello! Thanks for having me. I'm very grateful for you kasi tatlo sa pinaka-memorable na outfits ko this year galing sa'yo. Yes. When yes. I sang the national anthem, tapos when I did my first uh, presidential interview. Yes, the white ikaw, suit. Yes, ikaw ang gumawa. You know, I'm so grateful to Mark because at the height of the campaign season, designers would say no. I'm affiliated with this color. I don't want to do Tony's dress. May mga ganun sila. You know, there's one designer who dressed me up, si Mark yun. And I remember, hindi ko pa in-approach si Mark. Hindi pa namin sinabi na baka pwede naman you, you dress me up. Siya pa mismo nagsabi kay Liz. Alam mo siya nagsabi na, you know what, I can dress up Tony. Tapos nagulat yeah. pa ako, sabi ko, totoo ba yan, <laughs> si Mark? Tapos nung nag-meet tayo sa studio mo, then he made my dress nung national anthem when I sang it. It was so memorable for me because I realized na there are really designers who are meant for you to work with at siya yun. Pero alam nyo kasi si Mark started off as a race car. Yeah, past life as a race car driver. <laughs> race car driver. <laughs> uh, parang kung i-compare mo, di ba? Race car, parang hardcore as take to fashion designer. Parang ang layo ng transition, di ba? Super. Diba? Pati ako naguluhan in the middle. Mm -hmm. But racing was part of the majority of my life. I started for fun at six years old. And I was raised all the way up to 20 years old. As in, from grade school until after school, so, I was still racing. Ka, dream mo. Racing talaga. Then one summer, pag uwi ko, I kind of decided all of a sudden that that's done for me. Parang I didn't see a future with it. Mm -hmm. So when I was going out and meeting friends dito, sa Manila, reconnecting with old friends from school, everyone I was meeting was in the fashion industry. And then I started going out with them, even just going to shows backstage, Saling Pusa, helping out lang backstage. I did that for like two, three years. Mm -hmm. I was just going In your with early them. 20s. Yeah. And yeah. then one summer I realized there was an opportunity for me to try and get mm -hmm. into it. And not a lot of people know this, but for like almost two years, I just tried to keep making clothes and just made it for my sister. Just to see kung kaya ko i-bring to life yung idea ko. Kasi si Mark hindi nag-aral, di ba? No, I hindi, studied later on pa. Hindi siya nag-aral ng fashion design. Yeah. Talaga sa, sa dami, parang self-taught ka yeah. in, the beginning. in the beginning. Pero na-in love ka lang talaga dun sa fashion. Yeah. Tapos may nabasa ako na natutulog ka dun sa, <laughs> sa stre. Yeah, I would yeah. stay there till like 4 or 5 in the morning. Sa hanapin ako ng mom ko. Kasi at that time, they didn't think I was serious about it also. Mm. Because at that point, I didn't have the capital to get, bring, put my own shop together yet and everything. So I really started from the ground up, if you see. Tapos, kamusta yung experience na yun? I liked it. For me, it was, that's where I learned a lot. It just slowly built up to, I reached a point where I did start accepting clients and then I saved up enough money to have my own shop. And then nabalik tad na, the stress will apply na ah, to work galing. with me. Yeah. Pero kamusta yung parents mo? Nung nag-transition ka? Hindi mo mahirap yung sabihin It was sa hard. Kanila. It was oh. hard. Because that was also around the time I came out ah. to them. But it took me about two years to convince 
them that this is really something I want to do as a business. Tapos, sino yung mga unang clients mo nun? My, the very first client I ever made something for, actually, two sila sabay, oh. was Chuchu Madrigal uh -oh. and um, Terry Madrigal, who's oh. uh, the wife of my uh, family friend. And I think that's when I realized, okay, if someone like her is willing to trust me to do something for her, then, and if I make it work, then I am doing something right. Parang, kaya ko to. Pero kasi, kaya ka rin nakilala sa fashion industry and sa celebrity world is because ang akala naman ng lahat, ang first client mo is Hart. Because I'm approaching my 10th year next year and I met Hart seven years ago. With her, when we met, it became more of a friendship. Personal. Right away, it became personal. Nag-grow na lang later on yung I would always dress her. It started out more as we just ended up having fun together. Oh, next start off, it click kayo as friends yeah. muna. What do you think is the brand of Mark Bumgarner? In a few words, I would like to say clean, timeless, and elegant at the same time. <laughs> Hindi na sa isip ko. <laughs> elegant and timeless yeah. for me, yung mga, mga design mo. Kamusta yung, par yung Paris Fashion Week? Ano yung feeling? Okay, so the one I did in Paris was, it, we call it a showroom. So the collection I presented uh, two weeks ago is for spring summer 2023. So the buyers mm -hmm. will place their orders for next year and I fall into a category of evening wear there obviously. But my our rule is parang per country one of that piece lang is allowed to be sold. So sino yung mga bumibili ng mga damit mo pag nag pa Paris uh, fashion um, week? Majority of my clientele is Middle East when I do the showrooms mm -hmm. there. There's a few like US and I know, but really the majority is Middle Qatar, Kuwait, and Saudi Arabia are my biggest ano, mga clients. Mo. Yeah, and they're boutiques, so these they're not direct clients. Like they're not, it's not the actual madams going there to shop. It's really the buyers or the owners of the boutique shopping for you. Mm. So konyare the store will carry only six designers, and then I'll be part of that. Ilang taon ka na nag-start ka din, nagkaroon ka ng show sa Paris Fashion? Um, I started, Yung my first room. ever season there was 2017. And then we were lucky enough on the first season to do more than break even. So we just decided na fix na yan. Every year, we have to do this for the brand to grow outside. Do you sometimes still see yourself going back to car racing or... I actually did recently, after 12 years. I, I did a race for fun a few months ago in Clark. What feeling when you race ka uli? It's a It's like a stress reliever for <laughs> Parang me. It's like an adrenaline rush, right? Yeah, uh, 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 so if you're car racing, adrenaline rush, what are you going in designing clothes? Mas malala yung adrenaline and stress sa, sa, sa fashion design kasi ah, sa racing. Talaga? Especially when, the, with the shows and the mm -hmm. deadlines, it's more time consuming. Mm -hmm. Biggest say, inspo? Inspo would be 40s and 50s Dior and Balenciaga. It's mm -hmm. the biggest ano of. The classic. Yeah, kasi when I did my first collection inspired by that time, that's when we realized na umabot yung brand outside the country when we started getting inquiries from mm -hmm. from different countries so for me parang that's when my business started mm -hmm. i don't count all the years na behind that how would you define fashion and style for me fashion should be fun fashion shouldn't be parang um, something you overthink but at the same time style is innate but for me, fashion is about being confident. So how did fashion change you and your life? A lot. Fashion, becoming a fashion designer gave me freedom. I, I moved out at an early age. I, and once my business started going, I really felt that I could stand in the world on my own and not rely, and even later on help my family. An proud moment for you? For me, I can say it felt really good when I didn't rely on anyone anymore. Mm -hmm. And we built it from uh, mom and pop to an actual company and 
that's what I want to do until I die. What is success for you? Ah, this universe. <laughs> <laughs> what is success for me? Hmm. Do you feel successful now? Not yet. There's still oh, a lot really? of things I want to do. Oh. There's still a lot of things I want to do with the brand. Mm -hmm. So I'm not there yet. For, oh, me. Really? for me. Wow. Parang feeling mo, you're still I'm still going, going at it. Going Parang I'm it. maybe a little past halfway mark of what I want the brand to become. So we will see kung ano pa ang tatahakin ng Boom Corner yes. brand, di ba? Kung saan mapupunta. Yes! <laughs> Pero di ba, there's so many opportunities and possibilities yeah. Yeah. for for Mark. Kasi ang ibinabandera niya ay talento at galing ng mga Pilipino. Thank you very much, Thank Mark. Thank you. Thank you for having Sa me. Sa aming pagbabalik, pakinggan naman natin ang story of redemption ni Poy Quinones. Huwag kayong alis.